Hello and welcome to your new WSI water separation instrument, the SA9000-0. In this video, we will show you how to set up your instrument ready to run a test. Please note, this video is for demonstration purposes only. Tests should be carried out in a laboratory environment and according to health and safety regulations. Start by removing the main instrument. the one litre waste bottle, the 250 milliliter solvent bottle, the country of use power lead, the bottle caps and tubing, the bottle holder, and the calibration certificate. Attach the bottle holder to the back of the WSI. Remove the thumb screws. Place the bottle holder on the stand support ensuring the dyed water bottle holder is facing upwards and secure with the thumb screws. Screw the blue connector on the end of the dyed water tube into the middle port. When looking from the back, place the 250 milliliter solvent bottle into the left hand holder. Screw the blue connector from the solvent bottle tube into the left hand port. Ensure the cap is tight and the vapour vent is fitted. Place the 1 litre waste bottle into the holder and screw the blue waste connector to the right hand port. And tighten the cap. Turn the dyed water bottle upside down and firmly press the bottle onto the needle of the water bottle holder. Connect the mains power cable and switch on. When being used for the first time or replacing a dyed water bottle, the WSI needs to be primed. Start by placing an empty beaker in the sample holder. On the start screen, press the tools button, then the service button, and finally change water bottle. Dyed water will be drawn from the bottle and pumped into the sample beaker. If further purging is required, repeat the process. Next, fill the solvent bottle and replace in the bottle holder. From the service screen, press the maintenance button. Then press flush detector. Check to make sure that solvent is flowing into the waste bottle. If not, repeat the process you are now ready to use your WSI. For more information, please visit www.stanhope-ceta.co.uk.